Hello guys, uh, so today we will be talking about uh, NumPy linear algebra. Uh, so in this uh, linear algebra tutorial uh, using NumPy we will be uh, working on like the you know, matrix creations and basic operations. Then we will look into the matrix properties and transformations. Then we will move to linear algebra operations. And then we will solve some uh, like you know linear equations using NumPy. And then the final part we will be looking into the singular value decompositions uh, that is uh, SVD. So how we will you can do this SVD using a uh, NumPy. So we will be looking at. So let's move directly into the code part. So let me just clear all the outputs. Yeah. So uh, this is how you will just import NumPy is empty. And then like you know you can NumPy you can import a linear algebra uh, from NumPy is import NumPy dot uh, linear uh, ALG at as LA. And then, uh, like you know, this is just for suppression of the uh, like you know e to the power something it will come like you know, if it is a longer uh, floating point number. So that's why what we are doing we are just having a precision of four, and then it will look good. Okay, so let's just run it. And then uh, the basic creation and operations I think we did it in the past. Just a minute. Yeah. So. What happened was like you know we created this NPRA in the previous tutorial. So we'll just uh, to create a basic uh, matrices, we two uh, D matrices. You just need to put that like you know uh, a two D array. Uh, there will be rows and there will be columns. So in this thing, this is a three by three matrix. So a, I've also defined A and then I have defined B, and then we we are just printing matrix A and matrix B. Then num and uh, matrix addition is basically a plus b. Uh, so a plus b will do element wise addition. So a plus b will do element wise a, a and in uh, a and b. So this will be like in you know, the first element of the the matrix. New matrix will be a uh, one plus uh, one plus nine, three plus eight, three plus seven, and so and so. Okay. Similar. Uh, similarly, there is one element wise matrix uh, multiplication. So element wise multiplication will again will be same. It will be three by three matrix. But it will be element wise like a matrix so, so one one be multiplied will be one will be multiplied with nine three will be multiplied with eight and three will be multiplied with seven four will be multiplied with six and so and so in matrix multiplications it will be uh, the first number will be basically like you know we'll multiply this row uh, into uh, this column so nine six and three will be multiplied with this and this will become the first uh, element of the new matrix so basically one into nine plus 3 into 6 plus 3 into 9 3 into 3 so the, this will become as a 1 into 9 is 9 9 plus uh, this is 3 plus uh, 3 into 6 is 18 and then again 9 so uh, it will become 36 okay so let's just run it and we'll see like you know how what we are getting okay so see uh, so this is a uh, matrix addition is simple like you know uh, element wise addition and matrix multiplication is by row into column uh, for everything okay and uh, this is element wise uh, multiplication basically okay so if you want to know more about matrix multiplication i hope you might have gone through it in your 11th and 12th if you have not gone through it in high school or something then you just uh, look into it like you know, how the matrix multiplication actually happens okay so we will move to the next thing that is matrix properties and transformations so matrix property is basically like in the matrix transpose is what so whatever matrix that we have we will uh, like you know the rows and columns will be exchanged okay so uh, when you want to find the diagonal of uh, a so basically all the diagonal elements will be printed out here in this thing and we are creating a diagonal matrix so diagonal matrix is basically matrix in which uh, you have the diagonal elements as non zero elements others will be zero elements okay so let's uh, run it out and we'll see how we are getting yeah see so diagonal matrix is this is this is as i have put four numbers so that says a four into four matrix if i just remove one number then it will become two by two matrix a three by three matrix okay similarly if you want to put some more numbers nine comma eight so this will become five by five matrix okay and diagonal element diagonal elements are there and rest of them are zero zeros okay so now let's move to the next part of it so uh, we'll find in this we are finding the determinant and inverse of the matrix so determinant uh, of a matrix uh, is you find found out by like you know we'll do just 
uh, whatever la dot dit uh, and then we'll uh, pass on the uh, matrix out there and to find the in inverse uh, simply it's like you know la dot inverse a but sometimes in certain scenarios if the determinant of matrix is zero then you can't find inverse in that scenario uh, like you know even then like you know uh, like you know uh, it should not give an answer but due to floating point operations out there in uh, computer sometimes uh, even if it is zero then you will get an inverse so it should not happen uh, but yeah uh, it happens in like you know, this is not we are not uh, precisely calculating out here so that's why sometimes it happens that you know we are getting inverse for certain matrices in which uh, the determinant is also zero so just uh, have a check at uh, check of that part okay and we'll need to, we just we are just verifying whether this inverse is correct or wrong so what we will do we will uh, like a multi uh, like a multiply a into a inverse and this should give an identity matrix so identity matrix is a diagonal matrix with the values of one 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 and the rest of the values will be zero okay and then in the final part we are calculating the eigenvalues and eigenvectors so these eigenvalues and eigenvectors are uh, quite important uh, in like you know uh, uh, in ma machine learning so it will be used like you know in pca also in spd also so everywhere this eigenvalue and eigenvectors is required so to find an eigenvector and eigenvalue of any uh, matrix you just do la dot I, uh, I, eig and then you will pass the matrix and you will get those two values okay so let's see how it comes yeah so see mm. Uh, we have got the like determinant that is non-zero determinant then we have got the inverse of it and then a into a inverse uh, we have got an identity matrix so if this zero minus zero and zero is just uh, due to the like you know, floating point thing it should be ideally zero zero so minus zero here you can treat it as plus zero only and then these are the eigenvalues and then the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues okay then uh, we can we are going to uh, like you know solve linear equations using uh, like you know numpy so see uh, what we are doing is like we are we are creating a coefficient matrix and then we are uh, like you know defining the constant also and then uh, we will we'll solve like you know, there is la dot solve we just need to pass on the coefficient and constants and then we can uh, get the uh, like value so this is for two variable it can be for three variables also so th then we will have to create a three by three thing here and here also it will be like you know, three by three into one okay so it's two by two for that that's why we are finding only x and y x and y otherwise if it was x y z then we would have uh, meant uh, like you know three into three and like you know it uh, it should be three into three and here also it will be three into one okay so let's run it out see so we have got the values of x and y we are just trying to verify whether we have whatever we have got is correct or not so see we have got uh, like you know uh, 2x plus y should be 5 yeah the final verification is also same so it's good and to find the final part is like you know we can uh, find the svd so like you know singular value decomposition so what happens in uh, certain images and all those scenarios is like you need to find features of it so we do like you know any matrices any matrix can be divided into three separate matrices u uh, like you know u sigma and then v transpose so what we are doing here is like you know in, in numpy it's a simple thing like you know just uh, call svd and then pass on the values all the three values will be there otherwise like you know when you do it manually it's a long lengthier process uh, so u is your left singular vectors and then like you know s is singular value and right is transpose of uh, right singular uh, vectors v vt so just run it out and you will get your values so someday i'll uh, look into the maths of it because svd is very important in like you know linear algebra it's like in pca also all these things are quite important so i'll be doing a maths class on it okay so see we have got the like you know three uh three uh, like you know, three matrices so we have you have converted a single matrix a into three thing okay when you mul when you multiply this thing it will become an a okay so I hope you have liked today's video. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.